Hi friends, Pastor Daniel Govea here. Today I would like to share with you one of my absolute favorite Bible verses in the New Testament, Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, that says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Many, many days I wake up and I fall on my knees and I pray to God and I ask Him to live in me through the Holy Spirit. I actually talk to Jesus and I tell Him, look, I can't do it without you. I know that without Christ, I will do wrong things, that's for sure. Paul said, I know that in me, that is in my flesh, no good thing dwells. Without Jesus, we have nothing good in us. So I pray every morning and many, many mornings, I remember this verse of Galatians 2 verse 20 and I ask God to help me to be crucified with Christ, to live no longer I, but to allow Jesus truly to live in me. I ask God, Please, may Jesus be the one thinking and speaking and looking at people and loving people and serving you in me. And I am pretty sure that God hears that prayer, even though I am not perfect. I'm not saying this to brag. On the contrary, I'm just telling you that this is one of my favorite Bible passages because I know that without Jesus, I can do nothing. There's nothing good in me. However, I also know that God is hearing my prayer and that He is answering my prayer. And He will listen to your prayer. He will answer your prayer if you also want to allow Jesus to live in you. If you want to be crucified with Christ. If you want to allow Jesus to be everything in you and you are willing to crucify yourself, your selfishness, this thing that we are even born with upon this world, David said that we are already conceived in iniquity. If you are willing to allow God to live in you, to help you, to die to self, and to just have Jesus, the Son of God, living in you, I can assure you that life makes sense. That life will make a difference. And that life is the best life you can live. No, it's not an easy life. It is a life with meaning, a life with purpose. God will use you to bless others. God will use you to glorify Him. So those are the thoughts I have for you today. May God bless you. May you truly allow Jesus to write this promise in your heart that you would be crucified with Him, that you would no longer live yourself, but that Jesus may live in you and that you may live by faith in the one that loved you so much that even though he was God, he became a man, died for your sins, and now he lives to intercede for you and he's preparing a place for you. Amen. Amen.